Hey, I'm Lisa Ingracia with Wonderwall.com, and we have Harry Shum Jr. in the studio today. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Thank loving the grass. I'm just petting the grass. The grass is always yeah. greener here. <laughs> the grass is always greener here. <laughs> so going into sort of your first full season on Glee, how do you feel? I mean, what is what has the past year been like? Oh, it's been it's been amazing. It's it's it definitely has been a journey. You know, going from season two into a worldwide tour. And going in that and going to the season three, it's been Glee, 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 and, and also a 3D concert movie. So it's been it's been a lot uh, that we've done in the past year, but it's been very exciting. Just things that I never thought that I would ever get to do or, or, or experience, we've experienced this past year. So tell me about this episode that you have coming up this Tuesday. What can we expect? It's a big mm -hmm. storyline for a month. Yeah, it is titled Asian F. Which uh, apparently means I didn't even know what what it meant when I opened it. I'm like, what is this? Oh my god, I can't wait. What, what does this mean? And um, Mike Chan gets an A minus, uh, and his parents find out and they step in and they want him to choose between Glee Club and his academics, or not really choosing either quit the Glee Club or raise your grade up. And an A minus in that household is called an Asian F. And what has been like a real pinch me moment for you over the past year? Just sort of like, oh my god, I can't believe this is my life. I mean, I'm sure yeah. you've been having. I have for a lot of marks because <laughs> I've done a lot of pinching over the times because we've done so many things. We've met with Oprah. Yeah. We were on Oprah and then uh, Obama, and then you know we got to play sold out uh, shows at the O2 and uh, in the UK. It was incredible. It was incredible. And do you, which do you prefer? I mean, working on a TV show or touring? I mean, I imagine touring was very rigorous. Yeah, tour, <laughs> and I experienced it this past year, this past summer yeah. as well, going on tour. I prefer uh, cameras. I prefer cameras. If there's one celebrity that you could have a dance-off against on the show, who would you like to have a dance-off with? I'm always pushing for this, and I've, I think I've pushed this for like 20 different uh, interviews. Is um, Darren and I would love to have Christopher Walken on there because I just that think would he awesome. would be insane. He would be amazing. He has a musical background. He's a character. He could be a janitor that lurks around and teaches <laughs> us a thing or two. I don't know. Maybe. We would love it if you would do some kind of a little dance move here for us. I hear you do a lot of dancing in your head. Can you sort of show me how that goes? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Let's go. Um, do a five. private performance for Wonderwall. Five, six, seven. That's hot. We, yeah. we should, next time we'll That's do a cool, dance off, huh? maybe. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I think. Did you see it? Did you <laughs> Harry, thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm Lisa Ingracia with Wonderwall.com. Catch you next time.